Family, friends, and community members came together after finding out a man loved by many was found. But the news was not what they were hoping for. <laughs> Mandy Ochoa slowly broke down in tears just hours after her brother's body was found along the shoreline near Port Isabel. He was always positive. He he was adventurous. Adrian Garcia went kayaking with a friend on Thursday morning. Heavy fog separated the two. The friend able to return to shore, Garcia nowhere to be found. Texas game wardens discovered the 20-year-old's body around 10.30 Saturday morning, two days after he left Holly Beach. We were able to locate the kayaker uh, along the shoreline in front of Port Isabel. Family members watched from afar, wrapped in each other's arms, as officials removed Garcia's body from the water. Despite being an avid kayaker, Captain James Dunk says the weather was too poor for a kayaking trip and Garcia was not wearing a life jacket. If the winds are over 15 miles an hour, uh, it's not a good time to be out on a kayak. The winds can overwhelm you when you're trying to paddle back to shore. And if you get too far away, all it can take is something simple as a cramp. And next thing you know, you're in, in the water. As crews spend days searching for Garcia, friends, loved ones, and community members who didn't even know Garcia took it upon themselves to help search for the young man. We had family do um, um, RVs, um, boats, um, some horses. horses dogs, just um, so much support in helping us. Though it wasn't the outcome they hoped for, family members say they're just glad that they have closure. Able to close one chapter and move forward, remembering the life of a man with an infectious smile. He was very loving of his family, of, of everybody, of his friends. Obviously he was loved by all his friends because they were all out here. They stayed here overnight, searching, looking. I mean, they did everything they could. His smile. His smile lit up the room. Game wardens urge everyone before heading out on the water, be sure conditions are favorable because no matter how experienced you are, you can never underestimate wind speed. In the studio, Patrick Shalvier, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.